Hey everybody, Joe from Complete Carnivore back here, and we're going to talk about some Dalstrung knives. I made a video back in, I think, August of 2020, um, when I unboxed these and did some cutting with them, and I kind of wanted to give an update. It's been about a year and a half. I uh, just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts and what I thought of them, how I liked them, and all that. Um, my first impression when I heard about Dalstrung, when I saw their stuff online, was they were kind of gimmicky. Uh, some, of the, some of the designs they have are, are, are kind of out there. Nothing I'd ever choose. Um, so I was kind of skeptical when I first got them. I didn't know what to think. When I unboxed it, and I'll link the video up in the corner. You can take a look at that. Um, I was very impressed with, with how sharp they were, how they felt. Um, as you can see, I mean, these are, these are pretty huge knives. This is a, I think, 10 and a quarter inch chef's knife. This is a 10 inch, um, I think they call it the bullnose butcher knife. So they're big knives. Uh, I mean, here's, a normal size chef's knife. This is a, a Cutco that I've had for years, but there's the normal size knife compared to this. So these are, are pretty, pretty crazy sized. Um, they have normal size, they have other things. But again, I, I thought they were kind of gimmicky. I was wrong. Well, let me rephrase that. They are pretty gimmicky, but they are great knives as well. Um, I'm not a knife expert. I'm not a metallurgist. Um, I can't tell you all the different types of metal that these use and any of that. I can't tell you what's better than others. Um, without doing some research and reading and, and trying to remember what they were. Uh, but I haven't run them through a sharpener or anything in over a year. I use a honing steel on them when, when I want to get them really sharp, especially on this one. This one, I really I don't know if I've even honed that one very much. But I choose these knives over most of the other knives I have uh, whenever I need to cut something, especially something big. If I'm cutting something small like an apple or, or something like that, I might use a paring knife. But... I love these. I love the size of this one for cutting big things like cutting through a whole cabbage or, or collard greens, um, things like that. But it can even do small stuff. Let me show you. Well, let me let me give you one thing I don't like about these knives. The uh, uh, branding is only on one side. I'm left-handed, so I use the knife this way and I set it down and the brand doesn't show. But if I want you to see the brand, I have to kind of flip it over. That's just one minor thing. But um, obviously I can cut something big. I want to show you, I can cut garlic. You can cut a little piece of garlic and you still have a lot of control with this knife. It's not too big or unwieldy. And you can mince garlic with this knife. Uh, you'd think it's only something for something big, but you can cut up garlic nice and small. Uh, you can chop it if you want. Um, so yeah, it, it, it doesn't feel bulky or, or out of control as you're using it. You have a lot of control, especially even with, with the tip. Um, it, it, it's a great feeling knife. It, it's it's well balanced. It's weighted well. Um, sweet potatoes are always one of the hardest things to cut because they roll. But if you have a sharp knife, it makes things so much easier. Kind of just cuts right through it. Obviously, this one isn't peeled. But if you want to slice it up into fries, just pull a knife right through it and it goes through. You don't have to worry much about the food slipping and, and rolling on you as you're cutting. That's the benefit of a sharp knife versus a dull one. It's, it's, it's a lot safer and you're going to cut yourself a lot less with a sharp knife. Um, this one, I'm trying to remember, I think it's about $140 for this knife. This one here is about a $90 knife. They're two different series. This is the Shogun X series. Uh, this is the Gladiator series. Um, they have, I think, about 10 different... Uh, lines of knives. They have different handles, different blade designs, different shapes, different colors, things like that. Um, the Gladiator, uh, it's probably their most popular, I would say. Uh, just guessing on that, but it's a uh, pretty good price point for, for the knife. And uh, like I said, it feels great. It's a good knife. Um, let me see if this one will cut a tomato. This one has been used probably more than this one. I use this for cutting a lot of, uh, a lot of meat. Uh, slicing up tri-tips. Uh, my wife makes some huckleberry rolls, kind of like a cinnamon roll, but with huckleberry filling. But she freezes them before you cut them. And this is the knife I use to cut through frozen, a big giant frozen roll of, of, of that dough. So it's been abused, it's been used. You can see, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the camera, but there's some, some scratches on the knives. I don't baby my knives. I don't put them in a sheath all the time. I use a uh, magnetic strip. I'm not sure if you can see it up there. Um, I mean, I wash them by hand. Obviously, you don't want to use a, a dishwasher on them. But let's see if this one will cut a tomato. Again, I'm not going to put much pressure on 
Just gonna kind of drag the knife through. And it slices right through it. Same thing with this one here. Pretty much no pressure. I'm just dragging the knife through it. And it cuts through the tomato. I don't get those videos where you're doing super thin slices. Nobody cuts a th super th thin, thin slice of tomato. You do a normal size slice. And this knife does a great job cutting right through it. Um, like I said, I don't baby my knives. One good thing about doing knife, doing videos on knives is you always get comments of people blasting your knife skills and how oh, you're gonna cut yourself and all that. I cook at home. I cook in my kitchen. I cook outside. I use my knives. I mean, I, I, I don't need to dice up 50 onions in five minutes for a dinner service at a restaurant. I need to cut up one onion to put in a, in a pot of chili. So I don't need perfect knife skills. It helps. There's things you can learn from it. There's safety th issues. Um, but yeah, the doll strong knives are great. I, I really do like them. They are the ones I, I reach for when I, when I need a big knife uh, to cut something. I wanna show you something here. I did a test on this, just to see what happened. This is a croissant. It's very soft, very flaky. This isn't the bread knife. There's no serrations on it. But if you're careful, it's sharp enough to cut through a croissant without squishing it. Uh, I didn't have to push down at all on that. So um, again, if you wanna cut something big, it goes right through it. it they're good knives. Um, they're not the best knives. You can get some $400, $500 chef's knives that people are gonna say are the best, uh, whatever. You can get a $20 knife from Walmart. For the price point, most of their knives are gonna be in the $100 to $150 range. They have some small pairing knives for about 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Um, but it's in the kind of the $100 to $150 price range. Um, there's some other direct to consumer brands like Mizen, Made In has some knives, um, ones like that that are kind of about the same price point. I've never tried those, but if you're looking to spend 100, 150 bucks on a knife, check Doll Strong out. I'll leave a link below. You can save 10% when you buy through that link. Um, but yeah, I like them. Uh, they're, they're great for what they're designed for. They're great for what they're used for. And I use them for a lot of things they're not designed for. Like I said, this is a big knife to be chopping up garlic with. Uh, I use it to slice olives because it's so sharp. You can hold the olive and just slice right through. You're not having to saw through it. It just slices right through it. So um, again, I haven't sharpened these in, in a year and a half of using them. I use them almost every day, maybe every other day. Um, I don't know, but I use them a lot. So it's not like they just have sat in a drawer and uh, not done anything, but year and a half, no sharpening. And they can still cut right through a very ripe tomato with no problem. So I think that's impressive. I think that's uh, good. So like I said, a year and a half in, I still love these knives. And as a bonus, um, well, I mean, th this is the Shogun X series, 10 and a quarter inch chef's knife, I believe. And this is the Gladiator series, 10 inch bull nose uh, butcher knife. And I'll put links to these down below too. Again, buy through the links, you can save 10% off the normal prices. So that drops this down to $81 or so. They ship free. Um, they also have some cookware. They have aprons, they have cutting boards, they have knife rolls. Uh, they have things like tweezers and fish spatulas and uh, pretty wicked looking pizza cutters. So uh, they have a lot of stuff. Cutlery is their main thing. Uh, they have a lot of stuff, but they recently sent me a new box of goodies. Um, I've kind of peeked in here a little bit, but when I got the box, I kind of wanted to show you uh, what they have. It'll give you an idea of some, 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 some other things that they have in, in their lines. So let's, uh, let's get unboxing. Here, let's see what these are. Gladiator five inch steak knives. They come with, with some, some care instructions and little catalogs and uh, like a cleaning cloth and there's a little pin. Uh, for each series So these are their steak knives nice serration on them sharp points that could do uh, a Pretty good job cutting up a steak So that's pretty cool Those will be fun. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if these get uh, Get used I have some What are these some Henkel's steak knives? I got for my wedding 12 years ago that I really like. These are great steak knives. I like those. But it'll be interesting to see how, how these compare. Well, that's a nice little bonus. I like their packaging too. They, they do a good job of packaging. Makes it look look cool. Oh, we won't worry about sliding that back in there. Oh, what's next? Let's go with this one here. Ooh, another Shogun X knife. Uh, AUS 10V. 
Japanese super steel with hammered finish. What do we got here? Six inch chef's knife. All right, we've got all the other stuff here. They also come with these nice sheaths if you if you don't want to hang your hang them on a, a, a wall or put them in a block. Um, they come with a nice sheath. Again, that's the six inch. That's the six inch version of this one. So there's the size comparison between the uh, ten and a quarter inch and the six inch. I like this. I like the bolster on it. This part right here. Some of them um, like this. Like like this. This is a sharp edge here, kind of a sharp corner. So if you're doing a pinch grip, it gets kind of tiring after a while it kind of hurts after a while but with this one since this is sloped you can get a good grip up here uh, as you're cutting and chopping so uh that's a great little knife i like that one i think my wife will like that one she thinks those are a little bit a little bit too big not tremendously too big but just a little bit uh probably good for my kids too i have uh four kids under 10 and they like helping out in the kitchen and cutting stuff so that one will probably be a little bit more easy to control than the, the big one that's nice. I like that one. Will I be able to slide it back in here? Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, the Phantom series. Uh, this is, it's kind of one of the, one of more of their out there designs. Um, the Crusader is another one that has a pretty funky design, but they, uh, like I said, they have about 10 different lines. This is a, uh, a Phantom series pairing knife. This is the first Phantom Series knife of theirs I have. It's got a nice Phantom Series pin. Let's see what this looks like. Looks like a great pairing knife. It's got a nice handle, nice wood handle. Again, it's got this, the, good, the good bolster here for chopping. It'll, this will be good for, for coring apples or, or peeling a potato or something like that. That's a nice feeling knife. It's a little bit thicker blade than uh, some other pairing knives I've seen. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty stiff blade. It's not, not a thin flexible blade. So I kind of like that one. That's a nice looking knife. Looking forward to using that one. All right, let's see what else we got. Let me get this one packed away. So you can see they, they have they have pretty much any kind of knife you need. They have some giant wicked looking cleavers and um, this one, Gladiator. Again, I don't know, really know what's in here. So, I've taken some peeks, but, ooh, this is a 14 inch bullnose butcher knife. This is the big brother of this one. Oh, wow, look at that thing. That is crazy. Again, here's the, here's the 10 inch, and here's the 14 inch. You can see on, on this one, you can see some of those, some of those lines there. I don't know what that's from. Uh, I, I mean, I don't abuse the knives. I'm not just rubbing up against metal all the time or something, but uh, they do have that. But yeah, I don't think this one will be going on the knife wall uh, necessarily. This one will be a special occasion thing, but that's massive. That's huge. So they have, there, there's a few other, other uh, knives they have like this that are, that are kind of borderline ridiculous, but they just look awesome. And they'll be great in videos and pictures. If you like Instagramming your food, Show yourself cutting through a roast with something like this. That'll be awesome. So that's a great looking knife. I'm looking forward to cutting something with that and seeing faces drop when I pull that out the next time I have people over to cook dinner. And finally, what do we got here? A silverware set. Like I said, they have things beyond just uh, cutlery. Um, well, let me cut this open let's see what the silverware looks like that's pretty nice feel to that it's got a good weight I like kind of heavy silverware um, yeah it's a nice presentation you got the five pieces here and I assume the rest are in this box here yeah the rest are all packed away in there I think this, is this a 20 piece set, does it say? Doesn't say, let's see how many pieces are in this. I really don't know how much this costs. I don't know what the price is here. Um, what do we got? Looks like a, yeah, it looks like a 20 piece set. Looks like there's four, 
four of each. There's five different pieces. You got small spoons, big spoons, big forks, small forks, and these knives that look like they could, you could use this for a steak knife. You could use it to cut ham or, or uh, turkey meat, meats like that too. So this would be a great one for, uh, if you want to save this stuff for your fancy Thanksgiving dinners. Uh, but yeah, that's my new stuff from Dalstrong. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep all of it. I might do some giveaways. I might uh, might do something like that. So pay attention. And we'll see see what I can do with that. Um, again, if you want to buy, if you want to check out their stuff, use the link in my description down below. Uh, you can save 10%. Um, and uh, like I said, I, I like their stuff. Uh, their knives are not just gimmicky. They are pretty good quality knives. They're going to cut through almost anything you need to in your kitchen. Um, I, yeah, I'm a fan. Uh, I was skeptical at first, but I am a fan. I will be getting more of their stuff. Makes great gifts. If you have somebody getting married, if you have, I don't know, even, even like a bachelor party, you want to get somebody one of these wicked 14-inch gladiator knives, that'd be a pretty awesome gift for, for, for a guy getting married. So check them out, dalstrong.com. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you've used their knives, I want to hear what you have to think. Uh, I've seen some pretty good comments on, on some of the other videos. Uh, most of the people I've, I've talked to that use them, they like them. They, they, they are not just a gimmicky knife. They're not just something that looks flashy but can't perform. Uh, they're, they're great. So give them a look. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Like this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, and we're getting into springtime and summertime, so I'm going to be doing a lot more cooking videos. Because I can go outside and cook uh, and it's light out but uh, yeah let me know what you think I'd love to hear from you thanks for watching